Welcome to another edition of A New Me. Our guest experts help you learn about the latest medical advances and procedures by providing you with the real information necessary to help you eliminate the dangers of making the wrong medical and cosmetic enhancement decisions. Get ready for your consultation. Coming up, we will be on location at Asman Eye Care Specialist in Timonium, Maryland, discussing the benefits of bifocal contacts and how they can help you see clearly at all distances with one of this region's top eye care specialists, Dr. Erwin Asman. Dr. Asman graduated from the Illinois College of Optometry and has been in private practice since 1977. He has received many awards for excellence in optometry, including recognition for his participation in the Vision USA project, and he is a member of the American Optometric Association and the Maryland Optometric Association, among others. Welcome back, Dr. Asman. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate that. Oh, it's our pleasure. We've got a lot more to talk about today. And I wanted to begin by asking you if you could start by telling us, Dr. Asman, just so we have an idea of what we're looking at, how many Americans wear contacts? Okay, approximately 10 to 15 percent of the American population wear contact lenses. And that equals around 30 to 35 million people in the USA wear contacts. Now, in the category of all contacts, there's a variety of contacts, either bifocal contacts and single vision, and there are subcategories of them also. And the bifocal lenses is one of my big specialties. Um, and because we have the baby boomers, these baby boomers are not interested in wearing reading glasses, and they want to get rid of the readers or the bifocal glasses, and that's why the big interest in bifocal contact lenses. Well, I can tell you right now, that's a substantial portion of the population, by the way. It is. Uh, that number you mentioned a few moments ago, and I wanted to basically follow that up by asking you if you can tell us about these bifocals. Okay, recently, because of the baby boomer situation and the great need for baby boomers were to get rid of their glasses, the manufacturers and a lot of the uh, research scientists have been investing a lot of their time and money in developing new designs and new materials for bifocal contacts. Basically, there are many different designs of contacts, of bifocal contacts. Some are better for certain individuals depending upon their parameters, their motivation, their, their visual needs, the kind of eyes they have, their tear layer makeup, their lid makeup. So there are many different types and we have to decide which type of bifocal contact lens suits their personal needs. Now, that begs me to ask you, what are the benefits of the bifocal lenses as compared to the traditional lenses that have been out there? Well, for many years, we've only had single vision contact lenses, and therefore, the people that are over, let's, we'll use an age of 40 years of age, because that's when patients usually need to wear readers or bifocals. So before the development of bifocal contacts, these individuals had to wear readers over their, bifo over their contact lenses, or they gave up their contacts because they're just tired of wearing readers over their contacts and they went back to their glasses. So now with new innovation, we now, patients can now get rid of their glasses completely, not have to depend on their glasses. They just put their contact lenses in the morning, their, that is their bifocal contacts, and have free freedom, complete freedom from their readers. Very impressive and certainly good to know that that's now available for us. Now, who would you say for the viewers out there that are watching right now, who would you say is a good candidate for these bifocal lenses? Well, any individual that is at the stage that they have to wear reading glasses or bifocal glasses is really a good candidate. So motivation is the number one factor if they, are, if they want to wear con bifocal contacts. And the reason why motivation is very important because bifocal contact lenses are more time consuming to prescribe on the patient's side as far as coming back into the office for many visits and on the doctor's side to prescribe the contacts involves more precision. So high motivation is vital. And then once the patient has a motivation and they find the eye care practitioner that they've decided when prescribing the contacts, the, um, it, then the doctor will do the proper evaluation for the bifocal contacts and decide if that individual is a good candidate based on the evaluation. And the different departments or, or categories in the evaluation that will help determine if they are a good candidate or not. Okay, 
that's, that certainly makes sense. Now, are there any age restrictions for folks regarding these bifocal lenses? Essentially, there's no age restrictions. Uh, the only, um, you can be 80 years old. I have patients who are 85, 90 years old. I have patients who are 41 years old or 42 years old. So there's no age restriction whatsoever. Can you please describe the contact lens evaluation that a patient would be looking at? I know it varies, I'm sure, based on each patient's needs, but just in a general sense, so we have an idea of what we're looking at. Generally speaking, in order to prescribe contact, bif specifically bifocal contact lenses in a, in a proper way, the patient needs to go through a bifocal contact lens evaluation. And I'll go through the different um, parts of the examination in a very general way. Part one is, number one, is to do a case history, to find out if the patient's taken any medication, has any systemic diseases of the, uh, of the body, for example, like hypertension or diabetes, because they can affect the actual tear layer, um, and if, it does, if the patient has diabetes or hypertension and they're taking medication for it, we have to discuss that and try to find a way to make sure they're able to wear the lenses with comfort. The other part of the um, equation or the evaluation is doing a dry eye tear analysis. The number one reason why patients fail in wearing contact lenses, especially bifocal contacts, is because they have dry eyes. Mm -hmm. So in the evaluation, we have to determine if the patient has dry eyes or not. And if they have a dry eye, we have to categorize what type of dry eye so we can treat it properly. So if the patient has a dry eye, we have to treat the dry eye problem first and then prescribe the contact lenses. So that's another part of the evaluation and very, very important part because the number one reason I'll reiterate for failure of wearing bifocal contacts is due to dry eyes. Another part of the evaluation is doing the refraction, fine-tuning the prescription, okay, for far away and up close, okay. Um, and other parts is taking measurements of the cornea, measurements of the pupil. So fitting a bifocal contact lens involves more parameters, more precision, and there are more measurements to take when you compare it to non-bifocal contact lens. So it's a very time-consuming uh, evaluation. Yes, indeed. Now, what should one consider when we're thinking of getting these bifocal contact lenses. Is there anything that you could mention for all of us that we should take into consideration? Well, number one, I, I, I come back and talk about motivation factor. The patient has to have a very good reason why they want to wear bifocal contact lenses. And the number one reason why patients want them is they want to get rid of their glasses. Um, I have some patients have walked in and say they want to get contacts because their friend has contacts. That is not a good motivational um, reason. And that will not, that patient very likely will not succeed. So motivation is number one. And number two, the patient needs to find the right contact lens practitioner. So if a patient is thought about getting rid of their glasses, getting rid of their bifocals or readers, and they want to get bifocal contacts, they need to locate um, a, a, a contact lens specialist that subspecializes in bifocal contact lenses, mainly because it's very time consuming. And like I said, I'll reiterate, it takes more time on the patient's part and more patience on the doctor's side also to, to prescribe these contact lenses. Yes. Now, we've only got a few moments left, and you and your practice, asthma and eye care specialists here in Timonium, Maryland, have developed a reputation of excellence, Dr. Asman, uh, within your field and specialty. And I wanted to ask you before I let you go, what would you say separates you apart from many of the other eye care specialists in this region? Well, that's a great question because uh, unfortunately a lot of patients, people out there think all contact lens pr practitioners are the same and we're not, we're different. So one of the things that separates us from other practitioners is we have a committed staff. My partner and I have been practicing since 1975 and we've been committed to giving the finest quality eye care for every individual so each patient is very successful. So there's commitment, we have passion, we love what we do, we stay up with the research all the time, we have the most latest in technology. Technology is very, very important to have, and when there's new technology and instrumentation, we usually purchase that instrument, we, we do some research, make sure it's the proper instruments that we need for our practice to do, get a better visual outcome. Yeah. Um, some doctors have all the technology, but if they don't have the passion and the caring and the commitment and the staff to do it with, 
they will not be successful and the patient will not be successful. And most important overall, we pay attention to details. We are super meticulous and we're very personalized in our practice. Yes, indeed. And I know for a fact, having talked to some of your patients, that you have many, many happy testimonials, patients who keep coming back to you whenever they have a need for anything related to their eyes, and, and certainly your reputation speaks for itself, Dr. Asman. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for joining us again and being our guest on our program. Okay, well, I thank you very much for having me. I do appreciate it. Our pleasure. We'd love to have you, you back on again. Okay, I appreciate it.